And now 60 seconds with Martin Freeman. A spray tan or prefer to keep it pale? I think pale is in these days. I'm so <laughs> disappointed you said that. <laughs> I think pale I was is just in. imagining you. In me, a in a, me in paper <laughs> pants. A lot of people imagine that. <laughs> That's how I'm in show business. Do an American accent or a Jamaican accent? Who would I rather offend? <laughs> uh, be reincarnated or hang out as a ghost? A ghost, because I think I'd like to still be me, even though I'm often not very happy with me. Just torment people forever. Yeah, or, or make them a bit happier. Okay. I'm glad that's how you <laughs> see me. Yeah. True, yeah. I do. No, I don't. You'd make people's lives a f***ing <laughs> misery. Continue to pester them. Yeah. Give people dating advice mm. or stay the hell out of it. I think stay the hell out of it, I think, yeah. Watch Love Actually with your family during the holidays <laughs> Or A Christmas Carol is a better choice? I think A Christmas Carol, you know, begging Richard Curtis's pardon is a better story, mm -hmm. but it hasn't got me in it. Yeah. So that's always been the, down, the floor for A Christmas Carol for me. So Love Actually, yeah. Well, The, the Muppets Love Actually would be quite good. The Muppets Love Actually would be good. I'd like to that see my scenes in that. <laughs> Kermit as a stand-in. Yeah, I'm playing Thorin, who is the leader of the dwarves, of this particular group of dwarves on this particular quest. And, um, can you tell us about that? Me as a person. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, as a like to be a little bit more specific. You don't want to <laughs> I've got 40 years to talk about. <laughs> now for the Hobbit questions. Have excellent swordsmanship or don't stand too close to me? <laughs> excellent swordsmanship? Yeah. I think I'm all right with a sword. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Thanks, man. I think I'm all right with a sword. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Thanks, man. Um, in The Lord of the Rings, in the legendarium that we created of uh, Lord of the Rings, he, uh, you know, the, the Smeagol, Gollum sort of personalities um, aren't, aren't that kind of defined in, in the book, and that's something that I think we there. Brilliant. I know how this works. I'm all over it. Save your head for a roll, or put on twenty pounds. Shave my head. Why? Because I am incredibly vain, and I wouldn't want to be a fat dude. I think you could put on twenty pounds and still not be a fat dude. <laughs> really? What is twenty pounds? That's it's about half a cow. <laughs> it's not. Okay, shave the head. Um, why do you think you're super to this role? Why do I think I'm suited? Um, that's a good question, actually. That might be one for uh, Peter and Philip. Why do you want to play this role? Um, I just think it's a really uh, amazing opportunity to take a character from uh, a book that I was brought to as a child and that I was... I mean, my first experience on stage was in a production of The Hobbit. Oh, really? Uh, right. At the Alex Theatre in Kept Birmingham. Really? Yeah. And I played an elf. Wow. And uh, Gollum was a little <laughs> paper mache puppet with a ma man off stage on a, on a <laughs> microphone. Michael so Sam, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <not that different. laughs> so it's kind of been there in, in, my, <laughs> in my kind of childhood very prominently. So uh, to come to it as an adult, you know, a middle-aged man and, and kind of have another look at it is a, a brilliant opportunity. Mm. The prosthetic feet. Yeah. Or left them on set. Left them on set. Yeah. They're too heavy. Were you pouring sweat out of them after the end of the day as well? That's Sometimes, really yeah. not nice. Sometimes it? Heather would take them off because she'd have to talc me up on a shaved leg. The leg would come off, and one time, a bit of, one time, a bit of, have a good sense of fashion. Or where's my stylist? Where's my stylist? Really? I'd rather let someone else think about it. Okay. Hence the. Fair enough. <laughs> that I'm wearing today. <laughs> that looks like you yeah. thought about it. Yeah, I was in the mocap studio yesterday, actually, which is a, a first for me. Um, and it really, I, I've never quite understood the, the technology behind it, but it, it really does appear that it's like being in Avatar the movie, and, and uh, I'm quite looking forward to that. But also, I think with this film in particular, there's, there's a, enough... Uh, creative genius in terms of the art department and the technological department mm. but at the same time I, I do think we're going to get out there you know in nature and really experience this possibly more so than a than a purely mm. technical film which mm. is really exciting it's a good marriage of both I think yeah. and you're all going to be all my talky sweat landed in her mouth can you imagine a sort of milky substance landing <laughs> Flying into a woman's mouth. Milky, I can't. Milky foot substance. I can't. Yeah. My publicist is That's having a coronary. Movie, yeah. Um, okay, final question. Have a beer with Gollum yeah. or the dwarves? The dwarves, definitely. Because they're better drinkers, they're more hearty, and they wouldn't be constantly trying to take something from me. This is now acting. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> this has been 60 Seconds with me, Martin Freeman, only on Cinemax.
<laughs> I should be doing that <laughs> for real. So I wonder how long my career will last. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame it's over just as it's beginning. Get along well with your horse or you're no longer speaking. Get along well with my horse. We've talked about this actually, haven't mm. we? You sniggered when I said I had a relationship with my horse. Well, because you said you had a relationship with your horse. They were lovely horses. She likes her long locks as well. We had a little bit of a hair thing going on together. <laughs> yeah, both just yeah, that silver crin The leader of our company, Sorin Oakenshield. This has been 60 Seconds with Richard Armitage, only on Cinemax. This isn't live, is it? Oh, I see. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. This is, this is the first of a series of programs.